body only gets a little off topic. Mostly with the difficulty involved. Monks who are well, well adapted to their lifestyle, nuns too, not to be rude to either gender or, or just someone who's very spiritual with very good practice. In some athletic activities, going bodybuilding and slamming weights and spilling stuff and eating. Very animalistic. No mind, though. Primitive, very, very primitive, especially in nature. No mind, though. The body and the brain get to work with less energy spent. Accomplished with achievable goals, good food, supplies, strategy thought out before letting the mind rest. and staying humble. An important part of me practicing no mind, not being addicted to substances and also appreciating the benefits of stimulants some beer, some wine, caffeine stimulants, ginseng too, supplements, for those in the world outside of my home when I leave, going out into the world with no mind. But with loved ones around, with children around in the home, practicing no mind has some different requirements for everyone to live peacefully and happy. To keep the narrow focus though, for, for me as the example, I don't brag about being able to drink beer, being able to drink some wine and not have to um, worry about liquor. Some people just have to have the liquor, have to have that strong, <sighs> that, that, that zap. I can have a cigar once in a while and, and enjoy the nice um, outdoors. I can even have a little small amount of marijuana from my back when I finish a book sometimes. That's my reward is, is I'll get, get a small amount of marijuana. Here now where it's legal, but Not having to use my mind to avoid substances not bought in a store sanctioned by the government or sold by a grocery store. And there mostly are the limits for no mind, knowing 
what can be chosen during practicing no mind. And preventing some sort of stimulant, crazed, adventure. for the benefit of the strength afterwards. Almost like lifting weights, breaking down the body to build muscle, breaking down the mind with substances. and stimuli to have a similar consciousness awakening, similar to consciousness awakening. Kind of like boot camp, also, for the military. Using a little bit of intentional force, intentional focus, to get attention better. A much more rigid, a much more sharp, a much more boring process compared to no mind and consciousness allowing the brain to get the stimulation from the light behind me from the light in front of me the sound outside the window, the sound of the ringing in my ears. Instead of disciplining my brain and body to go outside to find an activity to complete in the world outside my home right now during the coronavirus pandemic. Getting there and then practicing no mind for a short amount of time and then going back quick, fast and safely. They accomplished the same goal except the the time gets condensed with no mind. Train, 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 no mind. No mind, no mind, no mind, no mind. And training being kind of the, you know, getting the brain to zig and zag and zoom and go boom, boom to, to uh, to go where needed and to get back to the house, to home.
no mind with consciousness. Breathing in air and seeing the light move with the brilliance of a movie. And the randomness of the bird sounds and the mechanical noise from technology in my home. There's less worry about the cars, the sounds, the fright and the scariness outside with the sirens and the people yelling strange words in the middle of the day, the people at night wandering the streets, screaming and yelling and all of the misdirection and confusion. And then the end of no mind for those who, who want to get back to work, for those who want to start moving fast again, start, start getting the, the cancer cured, start getting the coronavirus cured, start s s s saying words on a notepad about learning about consciousness in my book currently, drawing. Anatomy and physiology to learn and having to discipline to memorize and having to discipline to go to the next subject for the class load that the person has in their college they attend. And then the awareness to remember, to identify the needs of the body. From what the mind takes from the brain, from what the mind needs from the brain. to make sure the body doesn't lose its strength and its power for a stimulus, a reward, a, 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 an achievement. And then a person has some information. With having a mind, working with the brain, the body, and then also being able to rest the mind with no mind. And starting to learn about thinking, learn about time, 